So this is a standard one of these types of questions where you're calculating uh, either how long it takes or uh, the mass uh, that you can make. In this one case, it give you the mass and well, how long it takes. So in this case, I want to make my wife a silver ring. Okay? I start off with this much silver. It takes me two hours to collect the silver. Uh, or to fashion it. So I, I start off with the silver. It takes me two hours to like do the metal work. And I want to find out, okay, with this amperage though, I need to figure out how long it takes me to collect it. Okay? So I'm running this amperage and this mass. What's the time to collect it? Yes? Uh, are you going to give like how many angstroms per coulomb? Uh, this is coulombs per second. Okay, so that's, okay. Yeah, so you need to know current is a coulomb per second. Uh -huh. And we're going to use that in just a moment. We want to, I want to start with the grams though. Grams of silver. So this is, this graph purely uh, calculate through. Uh, let's change this to moles. And let me see if I have a periodic table here and good eyes. 107.87. I've got moles. That's moles of silver. I want to go to moles of electrons. So I have to remember that. Uh, let's see. I'll put it down here. Ag goes to Ag plus plus electron. Really, I'm going the reverse where I'm collecting the solid silver. So it's the reverse of that, but all I need this for is there's one mole of silver for every one mole of electrons. That's what I need to know. So, because this is moles of silver, I need one mole silver for every one mole of electrons. Now I'm in electrons. I'm getting closer to current but I need to change this to coulombs. If you look on the back of the test, I'll give you this constant. Uh, hopefully I'll remember it. I think it's 96,485 coulombs per mole of electron. Let me just double check that, but that sounds right in my brain. Uh, but that's a constant F. Yeah. Okay, now I'm in coulombs. Now I can use this amperage here which is 0 0.91 coulombs per second. Now I'm in time. I could change that to minutes, uh, which I have to do because it says how long in minutes. So there's 60 seconds in a minute. I calculate that number, but that's not my answer. What else do I have to do? I asked how long will it take for my wife to be able to wear the ring? Well, it's this plus two hours, or which is 120 minutes, because I say in the question, uh, it takes me two hours to fashion the ring. Because when I first wrote the question, I realized she can't wear this, it's just silver. So I need to add a time in there for me to fashion the ring. I figured only oh, it'll take me two hours, it's not that bad. And so you have to add 120 minutes to whatever you answer you get. Luckily, all the answers are differ by 120 minutes. So, it's really horrible. Okay. Is that cool though?